Welcome to the Features video of WooCommerce Invoice Payment Extension. Once the extension is installed, go to WooCommerce Settings and click on Payments. You will see a new Invoice Payment option here. Click to access its settings. Enable the Invoice Payment option and customize label and description of the payment method. You can also configure the default order status for orders placed using this payment option. Now that Invoice Payment option is active, it will show to all customers for products. Using the Invoice Payment option under WooCommerce menu, you can create multiple rules to restrict this payment option based on user roles, products, order amount, and more. Click on Add New to create new rule. Add title of rule here. Select if you want to show Invoice Payment for selected shipping methods. Leave empty to ignore this condition. Specify individual customers and user roles for which the invoice payment option should appear. You can enable other conditions like minimum maximum card amount and quantity range to show invoice payment option. Furthermore, you can also specify products, category, and product tags for which the invoice payment option should appear. Select to enable for virtual products only. Show invoice payment option to specific countries, states, cities, and zip codes. Leave empty to ignore location-based condition. Please note that all of the above conditions has an AND relation. You can choose to configure all or just use the specific conditions to show invoice payment option. Let's make a rule to show invoice payment for wholesale user rules and orders above $1,000. After creating this first rule, the Invoice Payment option will now appear for wholesale user rules with card amount above $1,000. For rest of the customers, the Invoice Payment option will remain hidden. Let's go to the front end and see how it looks. You can see the Invoice Payment option appearing as order amount is $1,000. As soon as reduce the cart total goes to under $1,000, the invoice payment option will not appear on checkout page. That's the end of tutorial. Thank you for watching.